Well, it's a 1939 57C Bugatti, one of a kind. We call it one-off in the co collecting world. Uh, the car was um, the last 57C built by Bugatti and was sent to a German bodybuilder, Vol and Rurbach. The car was hidden away during the war in Poland, and after that, it, it develops a fantastic history in the in early 60s. The body was separated from the, the chassis, and um, a few years ago, I discovered the chassis and the motor, and um, an archivist told me where the body was, so we put it back together. It was originally built in 1939. This car was born out of a dream, and the dream was to bring back to life uh, an iconic car that uh, Turing Superleggera designed back in 1952. It was called uh, Disco Volante, which is Italian for flying saucer. And that car was so uh, innovative that uh, it actually um, influenced the automobile uh, design for decades ahead. When coming so today we had to retain uh, not the basic features of the old car to make some retro design, but to be at least as innovative as we had been 60 years ago, and that was the challenge. This car is uh, completely designed, engineered and uh, manufactured by hand, piece by piece, uh, in our premises in Milan. Uh, we are one of the very few coach builders who can design, engineer and manufacture the cars completely full cycle in-house. This is the number one of the series and the series we limited the series to eight units. Now we have uh, the first unit is sold and it, it is here courtesy of its uh, owner. And there's another couple of units that are currently in production. They will be delivered before the end of this year and uh, more to come until we reach the limited number of eight. So each one of them will be responding to this basic design but absolutely personalized to the desire of the owner. The car originally is from Germany and King Gassi from Iraq, he saw it in Germany, in Berlin and he ordered one. The car came to Iraq and a couple of years later it came to King Hussein of Jordan and he take care of the car because of the desert war and he brought the car to Germany for inspection, for technical inspection. And of course he knew he had to give back the car to Iraq. He ordered one, a copy of, of the original one. So the car was built and the engine and the chassis is from 1936. And the body is rebuilt. It was in the end of the 80s, 1980. And the original car went back to Iraq and it's lost over there. Nobody knows what happened to the original car. And this car is a copy. The copy and it stood in Germany because um, King Saddam Hussein of Jordan passed away. And there was this um, 
second or third um, desert war. Also, and that's why the car is in Germany, or it was in Germany all the time. This is a Bentley GTZ Zagato, uh, number nine of nine in the world. So there are only nine units manufactured by Zagato. The car is based on the Bentley Continental GT Speed and uh, it has a hand beaded body in aluminium. Uh, Zagato company is uh, since 1919 and our expertise uh, is about special uh, lightweight bodyworks. So this car matches uh, the heritage from Zagato since 1919 together with the state of the art technology uh, for uh, special bodyworks. So the car is uh, uh, it's evident from the body is uh, sanctioned by Bentley with Bentley badges and this is our attitude with all the manufacturers in the world. Zagato is an independent brand and is transversal, so we boast cooperations with uh, all the major manufacturers in the world, Aston Martin, Ferrari, Maserati, Bentley, eh, Lamborghini and many others. And this is our tribute to Bentley motor cars.